Another practical thing you can do before entering the prayer is that if you have any, anything that you're doing and you want to tie some loose ends, you know, that you're, you have something on the, in the oven, you have, you know, something that you're waiting for, there's so, something going on that is occupying your thoughts that you actually finish doing those things and that comes to an end before you engage in the prayer. Because then he says, oh, my alarm's going off. It's still not, it's going to burn. Uh, I'm waiting for this important phone call. A person's constantly going to be thinking about those things in the salah. That you try your very best to, uh, you know, tie all those loose ends so that when you enter into the salah, there's nothing on your mind. You know, one of the things that we have to do is, you know, put our phones on silent. Maybe even put it in a totally different room. And just enjoy the salah. When we meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, we will not regret, oh, that phone call I missed or that text message I missed and whatever it may have been for those moments that we are with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So just having, you know, practically taking the, the means available to us, anything that's, that's, oh, I have to write this email, oh, it's extremely, do that and then engage in the prayer with presence of heart.